Am I the asshole? For making my family member and her infant leave during a wedding ceremony? My brother got married last weekend in a church and my entire extended family was there. My brother and his fiance were adamant on the reception being child-free except for my 10-year-old cousin because she's well-behaved and one of the only children in our family right now. My cousin has an 8-month-old son that she brought with her to the area for the weekend but she also brought a nanny to watch him while we're all at the wedding. She ended up bringing him to the ceremony at the church which we didn't know she was going to do, then have the nanny watch him during the reception. During the ceremony he started babbling and talking and wouldn't stop. He didn't cry or anything but he was very loud and making disruptions. My brother's fiancé was visibly angry kept turning around to glare at them but no one said anything. After it went on for about 10 minutes during the ceremony I turned around and asked her to take the baby outside, which she did. After the ceremony, that whole side of the family was very angry with me. My one aunt kept saying how mad she was that I made her grandson leave the wedding. They continued to talk about this all during the pictures and said that he was fine because he wasn't crying he was just mumbling. They're very family oriented so they were all pissed at me for a while after that. But since it was my brother and his fiancé's day I wanted it to be perfect for them and to help them out since my now sill was visibly very angry at the altar. Am I the asshole? For making my cousin leave the ceremony with her loud kid? Edit I really appreciate the amount of people telling me I'm a hero or the best sill ever, really helps me justify my actions here. My family made me feel really shitty that day. My brother and Syl thanked me briefly and we moved on so we didn't continue the drama with that side of the family. Not the arsehole be glad she responded to your request there's a lot of entitled folks these days, pouting face. Not the arsehole, I believe there are places children should never, funerals, graduations, court, hospitals unless it's them, nail salons, hair salons, upscale restaurants, movie theaters unless rated G. For children, them at home with a sitter. Or don't go. Not the asshole they didn't want children at the wedding specially for this reason. Cousin was wrong for thinking she was the exception and disregarding the bride and groom's decision not to have children there. My son and his fiancée now wife of several happy years had a child-free wedding. I had to tell my nephew and his wife where the nursery they had paid for was located since they thought they could break the rule. Only reason a nursery was provided was because my daughter also had a small baby and was breastfeeding due needed to be close enough for her to feed following the ceremony. She was a bridemaid. Not the asshole. Thank you for having her back. Have a heart, she only brought him because he was congested and running a little fever. S. Not the asshole. People should automatically do this in situations where people are trying to speak. It's rude. Not enough information. The wishes of the couple are secondary to the tradition of the church. If that is a church with a crying baby room that everyone uses, then the baby belonged there. But if that is a church that allows encourages babies, then the baby was fine. So the opinion of the celebrant pastor is what matters. The couple are technically guests, even if they are members of that parish. Not the asshole. Everybody else was either too afraid to say something or too family orientated to feel it was disruptive and against clear, preset rules. You just asked her to stick to these rules. You gave her 10 minutes to come up with a solution herself, so you did what had to be done and I think your brother and Syl are very thankful. You pay 30k to have the wedding you want, and every other guest has a special request. It's fucking exhausting. If you attend, just follow what the couple asks or don't go. It's supposed to be a fun time, not an accommodating time for everyone else but the couple. Not the asshole, you're a hero. Not the asshole at all. Let them all be pissed, what you did was considerate of your new Sills feelings. If your cousin's family were really so family oriented they would have respected your brother and his fiancée who are family too, are they not? And you would not have had to step in. 
Instead they decided that their eight-month-old had to be an exception, and of course he became a distraction during the ceremony exactly what your brother and his fiancée tried to avoid. That whole side of the family sounds insufferable. You are the best sill anyone could ask for. Not the asshole. Should have made the baby go away earlier. Not the asshole. While people see a baby and say or are able to ignore the noises babies make. Normally, this is fine. However, this is a wedding. A very important and sacred event for the couple being married. If the members of the side of the family can't understand that, it is their problem. Not yours. Let them get steamed up. They will either get over they can remain perpetually angry with you. If the latter is the case, then they ain't really that much of a family to you. They actually show their true colors. Not the asshole okay, for half a heartbeat I thought the Tenyo had the eight month old. Not the asshole. The baby was visibly bothering one of the grooms and that was their day, not the baby's. Not the asshole, they should have followed what the couple wanted and not brought the baby or had someone stay home with him. You only get one wedding ceremony and it's important to not have it ruined, especially due to something they specifically told people about. You did the right thing. Lol made her grandson leave the wedding. He's a literal infant, this event means nothing to him and he would be just as entertained watching someone jangle their keys in front of him, and the aunt is making it sound like he's going to carry the sting of this rejection to his grave. Can you imagine paying dollar to have your wedding videoed, but all anyone here on the playback is some baby gurgling? I love kids, but that would piss me off. You're the asshole, and so is your cousin's new wife. The baby wasn't even crying. You just sound like nasty people to me. Imagine being angry because a baby was babbling happily. If she wasn't allowed to bring the baby someone should have gently told her before the ceremony began. The wife ruined her own wedding with her attitude. I hope they don't have kids because she sounds horrible to be quite frank. I was so paranoid when I brought my baby to a non-child free wedding that I stood at the back and darted out each time they started making too much noise. I cannot fathom why you would not find a babbling child irritating at something important like a wedding ceremony. You have to ask yourself is it more important that I see the ceremony or the bride and groom actually can concentrate on each other at a seminal point in their lives. OP shouldn't have even needed to have said anything but not the asshole at all. Not the asshole. The only mistake you made was letting your cousin and her child into the ceremony in the first place. Not the asshole. As long as the bride and groom were okay with it, screw the other relatives' opinions. Not the asshole I have watched wedding videos of the ceremony and all I can hear is the child baby in the background, whose parents are completely entitled or clueless that this is a special time and there should be no noise in the background. Not the asshole. I'm over 30 years old, and my aunt still brings up how I ruined their wedding as an infant because I did. It wasn't malicious I had a bad ear infection and she doesn't hold it against me as a person, but she never forgot how it affected her day. There is no exception for happy noises, and it sounds like the groom's side of the family is circling the wagons against their dismissal of Sill. I think what you did is admirable, and I hope other family members step up to defend you now too. I made her grandson leave the wedding. Yeah, scandalous. Surely he will be devastated and will never forget how he had to leave the church. Not the asshole, they are overreacting. If the child was interrupting the ceremony, a reasonable course of action was to leave with him for a moment. Not to mention he shouldn't have been there in the first place. Not the asshole child free is child free. I'm now guessing your cousin believes that, because she's a mother, her every wish and command must be met. Not the asshole. If no one was assigned to manage issues on the day, then politely stepping up is a good enough option. People pay thousands of dollars for a video of that half an hour of them saying their vows. They don't need the Teletubbies babble over the top of it all. It's only cute to the parents, no one else usually.